guys, it's me again, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker! Why did I start the video in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> anyway, last where we left off, uh, we gave the fairy to our grandma to heal her so that we could get our soup that's up there in the corner, you can see right there, our grandma soup. Anyway, so I just started uh, sailing from outset to... Okay, I, f I forget what's here, but it's one of the temples that we need to get to. It's either the Earth Temple or the Wind Temple. I don't remember which one this is. Uh, but that should be good, I guess. I mean, I can't really get into them yet because I don't have the necessary items, but I don't remember where the items we need are, so... Oh, I need my bait. Where's my bait? Okay, fish- no! Turn around! Turn around, king. Please. There. Come on, take my bait. Tell me about this island, because I don't remember where the place is that I need to freaking go. I think this is where you learn about that. Anyway. Uh, yes. Mark it on my sea chart, please. So I can be on my way, sailing the high seas or something. Headstone Island, so... This... Which one is this? I don't forget. I mean, <laughs> I forget which island this is. Real heavy stone. Uh, go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain. You'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. Okay, so up four. And then... Right three? I think. I have to look at that on my map. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, throw some more bait. No thanks. I'm not giving you more food than you need. Or I, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Two, three. Three. Is this one? Is this where that is? I think my C chart is so barren. I just have this one continuous string of discovered places on my C chart. Well, I guess. Yeah, that way is east. I was correct. This is where we need to go. So, let's play our thingy. If I can remember the song. Yes, I can remember the song. Haha, <laughs> I'm smart. Wait. Oh, that was the... Cut that out. Just cut all of that out. Which one was it? Oh my gosh, it's been two months since I've played this game. There we go. Ballad of Gales. That's what I meant to play. For crying out loud. Freaking... We'll just go here since it's the closest place, and then we'll just head south, I guess. Great start on the video. I notice it's great. Flawless. Okay, this better be the correct direction or else this is gonna be really embarrassing. Fish man, take my bait! Thank you! So here we are on Fire Island. I'm just gonna call it that because it literally is a, a, an island made out of fire. That's pretty much the long and short of it. Fire Mountain. Close enough. But you gotta tell us about this. There's a treasure hidden inside. Everyone's ever tried. Been blasted away by the fire. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been to Mother and Child Isle already, so I can just keep going. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna have to get rid of the fire first, but I mean after we do that is what I meant. So, <laughs> that just looks like a bunch of boiling water is spewing out from the base of that Mountain. Okay, wait, where's my bow? I should probably get that out. So, we gotta swap to the ice. What if we just shot more fire at the fire mountain? That would be... not... that would be counterintuitive, I think. There we go! Frozen solid! I'm not even gonna question it. Because there's no way that I could just... Because that's literally liquid rock, is what it is. It's liquid rock, and I just froze it solid with the power of my magic bow, or something. Something like that, I think. And now it just looks like an ordinary rock in the middle of the ocean. No, go away! I can't climb this. I have to go around. Screw you, bird! And I know when PBG played this game, he said, Hey, if you see a bird, you should probably shoot it before you start climbing the fiery mountain of death. But... Uh, I guess I'm not taking that advice. I don't know. I don't really know what I do most of the time when I play video games. Just cut all of that out. This is pointless. And of course, I'm going to sidle across this wall because, uh, 
I mean, is there a better way to get across? I mean, I could use the Deku Leaf, but... Is that really faster than just sidling along the wall? I didn't think so. Is it sidle or siddle? Hey, Mom, is it siddle or sidle? Sidle, I believe. Okay, there's that. At least there's one question answered. Thanks, Mom. So now we're inside of the fire-burning, melt-your-skin-off island land. <laughs> I think that's what PBG called it. And now we have to find the thingy that we need. Don't ask me how there are walkable pieces of obsidian on this fire that's just ready for me to run around on. Because I don't really know. Come on. Oh, I have to do this. I think. There we go. Vertical slice, Link. Vertical slice. Or, no, I can just break him. I don't need him for anything. Screw you, centipede thingy. You can be ten rupees. That's cool. Yeah. No, 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 don't foam along. I need to kill you first. There you go. Thank you very much. And now I know when I break that orb, it's gonna scatter goodies all over the rocks. And there they go. At least there's just rupees that fell down there. I don't really need rupees. My wallet's full. So I think we get the power bracelets in here, right? We do indeed, even though it's been forever since I've played this part of the game. Yes, we get it. And now we can leave. It's funny. I can remember PBG's Let's Play better than I can remember my own first play through this, through this game. So that's the thing, I guess. There's a weird camera angle there for a second. But we are off fire burning, melt your skin off island land. How can I remember that? And we are, it's nighttime now apparently. Where's, where's King? King, where are you? Ah, no. King. Where's that stupid boat and who's throwing bombs at me? Oh wait, he's over there. I just realized that he's on the map. No, Link, don't do that. Just run. Oh, I could have landed in the boat. That would have been epic. Okay, so... Where should I go now? Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? You know what? I can't use my sword. Ah! That was pointless. Okay, you know what? Screw you. Go away. That was easy. Thanks for the feather. I guess we'll go back to the Earth place. Because... No, wait, that's not right. Why do I keep playing that one? This is the one that I need. Maybe it's just easier to remember, I don't know. But we need to go back to Headstone Isle. I think that's what it's called. And... So this must be the Earth Temple. Yeah, because the other one... Uh... The other one was the Windy Place? And that was the Wind Temple, so this is gonna be the Earth Temple. This is where we take Medley. Okay, so that's... That's, um, sorted out in my brain. I mean, obviously, um... Huge fans of Wind Waker could get that better than me, but... I've played a lot more Twilight Princess than I have Wind Waker, so... You know... I mean, I've played through this game only once before, Twilight Princess. I've beaten, like, at least... <laughs> I want to say 20 times, but that's not true. At least five times. Five times I've beaten Twilight Princess. So, you can... No, that's not right. Go back, Link. You don't shoot the boat, you put a sail on the boat. You freaking idiot. What was I even saying before? I don't know, just future me, you can add something to that if you want. Because I'm sure, because you can just go back on the footage and see it again. And Because I forgot, you know? Thrilling gameplay. I hope that you guys out there watching knows that this is about, like, at least 70% of the entire game. <laughs> just sailing back and forth. At least it feels like that, because it's not particularly interesting. It'll feel like 70% of your time. I don't know if it actually is, though. Might be something like that, I think. So, we made it back to Headstone Isle. What are those? I saw something there, but the screen is too pixely for me to see it clearly. STOP! KING! Fine, I'll swim from here. You know what, King? Screw you. Screw you! I don't even care that you're some ancient, like, king or something. What are these? What are you? Are those- are they crabs? Oh, that's so cool! There are crabs here! I totally forgot about that. So after this, we're gonna have to go to the ice place and unlock the wind temple thingy, so... That'll be fun, right? 
Holy crap, I, I do not play this game that often, do I? Okay, so this one. I mean, you don't need it that often in the game, but I mean, just look at that. You expect my brain to remember all of that totally? Okay, so, hang on. Down, down, middle, right, left, middle. There you go. Not so hard when it's right in front of you. For sure. And then, you learned the Earth God's lyric. Awesome. Now what will become of, become of? That didn't make any sense. What will appear before us? I suppose it's a more accurate term. <laughs> oh, great hero chosen by the master sword. My name is Laruto. Hi, Laruto. I am a Zora sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. That worked really well, didn't it? And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. That uh, Hero of Time? All th Sorry, that just sounded repetitive to me. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. A red wrath! It's even scarier than a normal wrath! Because it's red! Red is the color of evil! He attacked his temple. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> he attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. I'm really only reading this because it's important to the story. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline. The one who holds this sacred instrument. I wonder who that could be, Medley! Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm reading, and yet I'm doing it pretty well. I already know all of this. I don't need to pay attention. The song you just conducted is the one which will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. Look at Link's face! He's like, totally shocked! It's amazing. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. Okay. May the winds of fortune blow with you. Well, thank you very much, I guess. So if you tuned out at that point, like I did, then, uh, here's a quick recap. Ganondorf killed that person, and so we need to find the new sage. I mean, I mean, like, I know you were probably gearing up for something more epic, but that's literally just pretty much all it is. So, I wonder if we can just do all of this without even unlocking the Wind Temple first, and we can just do the Earth Temple. That'd be cool, I guess. I mean, I'm already 16 minutes into this recording. It's not like I got anything better to do or anything. Do I have the Song of Passing yet? I don't have the Song of Passing, do I? I'll need to get the Song of Passing. But first, I guess I'll get Medley. <laughs> I mean, you get the Song of Passing on Windfall. I need to go get that. It's important. It's important. It is important to the story or something. Something like that. Time is passing, right? No! It's just night. That's good. You know what? I'm gonna go quickly get the song of passing. So, I'll be right back. This better work or else I'm gonna be really mad. I'm gonna be really, really mad. Yeah, this guy's out here. This Elphus impersonator. Oh, no, that's not it. Not it. Whoa, hello. Pardon me, guy. <laughs> Pardon me, guy! Uh, full of angels over my dancing, I didn't even notice. Little you standing there. Oh, I haven't been here for long. I am taught! I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You'll come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. If that's really the case, I wouldn't be surprised if you starved to death dancing. One, two, one, two, three, four! <laughs> Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. Turn night to day. Uh, I think you know the rhythm. It probably. Let's see. That didn't work. Hang on. Maybe I have to talk to him. A again. That didn't work. Wait. Am I doing something? What happened? Oh, okay. That was scripted. 
Oh, okay, I had to do that first. I was, I was gonna say, like, I'm moving the control sticks, why is nothing happening? I was just playing the freaking I don't know what to do song for a second there. Self-reference. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. I can feel it. I can feel it, guy! Okay, so that's right, left, down. I mean, you didn't have to do it that weirdly. What's with the crying out? Okay. Do, do, do. Yep, that's the song of passing. Or is the, su is the sun rising already? I don't even know. That's it! That's it! And it's perfect! I'm perfect! Now let the sun shine on! Uh... It's not working. Uh... Hang on, let me just... Will it not let you look at the clock if you're not on the boat? That's stupid. I didn't mean to... Forget my sword. I meant to do this. Sorry. Goodness. Seems... Seems there's a darker side of me and I'm always just wanting to... Freaking... Uh, what's it called? Resort to violence, that's it. And... Ha, huh, there we go. For a second I was afraid my GameCube had crashed. Nope, we're perfectly fine. That's just what was supposed to happen. It's really bright, though. In case you guys didn't know, it's about... 1 o'clock in the morning right now for me. Uh, I've been on a really bad schedule lately. I've been going to bed at 3 a.m. And I'm not even tired. So... I decided why not record a video, right? That was such a- No, don't! Why? Such a good idea. These freaking control sticks getting stuck. I freaking love that! I love it when you do that, game! I know what you're probably thinking to yourself. Why are you screaming so much if it's one in the morning? Okay, first of all, rude. And second of all, <laughs> all of the doors and windows are closed. And the only other person in the house right now is my mom, who is also awake. As you heard previously. So, I'm not worried about waking anyone up. I just have to remember not to open a window, but why would I? It's so cold outside right now. Okay, let's... Nope. Okay, so this... I have to wrap up this recording pretty soon here. But there was quite a bit of sailing back and forth, so I guess I could just make this a long video. I mean, I'm not gonna just end it off here. That'd be lame. I wanna... I wanna get to Medley first. Assuming she's even gonna be where I think she's gonna be. Which, uh, I think. I believe so. Ah! Ah, that was weird. I apologize. Alright. I'm just gonna sidle along this wall here. What was that? What's that noise? Oh, I get it. I think I know what that is. It's just medley. I think. Link, what are you looking at? Is that a heart? Hmm. Weird. I don't- oh, okay! Actually, why did I do that? I could've just unlocked the shortcut here. Just climb up that link and don't question anything. Yeah, it's getting louder! I think it is Medley. She's playing her little harp thingy. Where is she, though? I think she's further in, actually, so I'm gonna climb further up. Hopefully she's here? I mean... Obviously, it's scripted. It's She's going to be here, whether I like it or not, but... Oh, excuse me, I don't know. Uh, excuse me! Let me in! This was the wrong place. Go back, Link. Yes, this was correct. Uh, where's my grappler? That's a quick way to say it. If you don't want to say grappling hook, you can just say grappler. And now I've ended up saying both. Never mind. People, we're good. We're good at stuff and things here on the Emeria show. It's perfect. Perfect and fun for the whole family. Yeah, I didn't even recognize it as music at first because she's just playing the same two notes. Oh, Link! You're okay! Yeah, I'm okay. I'm good. How are you doing? You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Link. What was the voice I gave her before? I don't know. It's been like five months since I last talked to Medley. I don't know. I can rest easy now that I've... wait. Seeing you safe and sound with my own eyes. Yeah, there, I think that's the voice I gave her. Prince Komali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Uh, okay. I didn't see him. Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Good for him. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. I'm just so popular, aren't I? Watching Prince Komali grow up fills me with pride. 
but it makes me a little sad as well. Yeah, you know, that's what it's like to watch people grow up, right? I wonder if this is how a mother feels. It's how I feel with my little sister, so probably. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound. Hee <laughs> hee. No, you don't sound weird to me. I think it's uh, I think it's really charming and cute, actually. Well, I'd better continue practicing so I can be useful around here, too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Cool. I guess. Also, last time I played... Uh, where's my spoils bag? Uh, I gave her one of these because... Um, in their description, it states that the Rito ladies really like them. So I really wanted to see how she'd react to it. And I actually drew a picture about this very scene that you might have seen... In a previous episode, at the end of the video, where it's Link just basically giving a golden feather to Medley, because I think it's freaking adorable. Link, that's a golden feather, isn't it? Of course I recognize it. All Rito girls idolize those things. You really have one? That's amazing. Yeah, I have four, and I'm supposed to get 20 for a quest, I think. I'd be lying if I told you it held no interest for me, but... For now, I think mastering this instrument is more important than my fascination with such things, don't you think? I was a little disappointed when I saw that. But anyway, that's not important right now. We need to show her our Wind Waker. Hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. Oh, you'll do just fine. Except I can't remember what the song is like. Wait. Wait. I can do this. I can do this. I'm good. I'm great. Okay, let me think. It was... Oh my gosh, I did it! I remembered that. I, I figured that out from memory. I'm so proud of myself. I mean, it's probably not a big achievement for someone else out there, but for me, that's freaking crazy, man. I have such a bad memory. Hmm, what a mysterious song. It sounds so... familiar. It's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be... remembered. Yeah, it's because it's a magical song. Oh, I feel... Oh no! Madly! I guess this is her dream. Better hope Bill Cipher doesn't show up. Oh, I get it. It looks like really transparent there because it's not real because Medley has the real thing that she wants had in the- Never mind, that was obvious. You know what? I'm just gonna keep my own revelations to myself because who freaking cares about that, right? excited about these kinds of things. You okay, Medley? Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. Yeah, she spoke so gently, I didn't even freaking hear her! There's something... something that I must do. Link, thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. That was my intention. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. Like waking up one morning and suddenly you realize that you're Gandhi. <laughs> I bet my teacher knew all about this. Probably. Link, please. You must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. That's so cool! I wish I could do that! In real life! This recording's been going on for 30 minutes.
Wait, is that Kamali? Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Well, that breathing animation is so cool. Oh, Kamali. I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. Why? You'd rather him not idolize you? And wh how the heck did he grow up so fast? Or, or is that Kamali? I'm confused. Maybe that was a different person who just happened to look like Komali. I have no idea, but this is gonna have to wait until the next episode, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!